know, I did a project a few years ago called My Father's Country, and uh, it was my take on 10 of the greatest uh, country music songs from the 60s and 70s. And doing this project has really kind of been of ext an extension of that, not only um, because I've added some my take on some several uh, great country and bluegrass songs, but I also realized um, just what a profound effect that uh, traditional uh, Americana and, and bluegrass music has had on me, and that along with, you know, my upbringing in the state of Arkansas, I couldn't help but be a big Johnny Cash fan, plus my mom and dad grew up with him and his family in, in Dice, Arkansas. And so many other great Arkansas influences, uh, you know, Charlie Rich, uh, Glenn Campbell was another one the first time I heard that banjo, and uh, in general on my mind, it just, I mean, hooked me, you know? And LaVon Helm, I, I can't remember the first time I heard The Night They Drove Old Dixie Down, but it's always been a song that's resonated with me. And to be able to record that and put it on this project has been phenomenal. Virgil Kane is my name and I drove on the Danville train. So much cavalry came, tore up the tracks again. There's also a song on this project that I wrote called Blue Bonnet Highway. It's probably going to be the title of Cut. And I remember the first, when I started writing the song, I remember how I got the idea. I was actually uh, recording over at um, Sony ATV uh, Tree Studios with my, my road band. And I was laying back in the lounge because I was really tired of being on the road for a long time. And uh, we were just trying to get in and make, you know, do some demos. And I heard them uh, working on another track of mine, but something about where I was laying in the room that I was in, uh, I could hear this other, this completely different song, and this melody that came to me, and then I just remember the words, that last cup of truck stop coffee, my last two dollars bought me, and man, I was off and running. And with my wife being a Texas girl, uh, it never hurts to write a Texas song. <laughs> As a musician and a producer, I've worked with many great artists over the years. And you know, it's not all talent. Whenever you find somebody that has a great work ethic, that they have a desire and a passion to make great music, and they truly care about their fans, well, I've just described Buddy Jewel. We found a feeling we could share. So I can't pull this off without your help. We don't want to ask you to give us something for nothing, uh, but we're going to do a, a crowdfunding thing for this project. And we've come up with some really innovative and creative uh, packages for you, uh, from starting from as small as you know, just getting a CD, all the way up to a huge package where there's a house concerts, um, one of a kind buddy worn cowboy hats that are custom painted and box sets of CDs, uh, koozies, t-shirts, you name it. You know, we, we put these things together and we're going to name these giving levels after jewels. Imagine that, right? Anyway, I need your help and we're going to give you uh, a look at these packages here. We're going to insert a little graphic here so that you can see what they are and then I'll come back and talk about them some more. See, I told you it was gonna be innovative and creative and a lot of fun too. And I just wanna say this up front, thank you all for being part of this journey with me, for being on my team for being my friends and my family for all this time. And if it weren't for you all, my core friends out there that I've made over the past 16 years and beyond, I couldn't keep doing this stuff. And I really need your help here, and that's why I'm asking you. I don't have a major label behind me, so we gotta do this on our own. But I know you guys can do it because I've seen you do it in the past. And I can't wait to see uh, the kind of blessings that roll in for me and my family out of this. So thank you so much in advance for loving me and for being part of my family and part of my career.